Hey everyone, Reaper here again with another video. It's another discussion video. You know, I really enjoy making discussion videos. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like showing off books too. I think we all do. But um, it's, it's so much more engaging, I think, when you have these discussions, even though it's not a live chat where they're really engaging. And I maybe one day would like to do that. But I like to talk about some things that I think a lot of other people have questions about or like to discuss too and we share in the comments and all that stuff so point the point is I really like these type of videos and I'll try to make them as um, as much as I can you know, sometimes it's hard to come up with topics you know if there's a topic you want me to talk about leave it in the comments section but anyway as you know you clicked onto this video I'm going to be talking about in this discussion, in this discussion video, things that I dislike most about the hobby or in the hobby or related to the hobby. It's not really going to cover every one of those things, but it's just a general uh, conversation. I wrote down a couple of points that I want to talk about. You know, uh, a video like this really is something that could be a, a series. Uh, in on itself you know it's not just something that's contained within a 10 or 15 minute discussion it's something that can really be uh, across a bunch of videos but I'll try to talk about a couple of things uh, specific in this video and maybe we'll talk about things I'll talk about some things in another video related to this so what is it that I dislike most about this hobby or in this hobby or about this hobby well um, of course, I have my own opinions, and I'll get to them. I think, though, if this question is posed like uh, from things that I hear, things that I read in the comments, or I read on Facebook, or I hear on other sh on uh, YouTube shows, or whatever, whatever, I think a lot of people have a general frustration when it comes to this hobby, when it comes to grading, you know, the CGC, CBCS, uh, all that sort of stuff. I hear that often. I hear a lot of complaints from people when it comes to where this hobby is going and where has it gone and you know where we're at right now and all these different things when it relates to a bunch of different uh, avenues that this hobby brings us to. So do those things bother me? Grading, CGC, no, they don't bother me at all. I don't dislike that. I know, like I said, I know a lot of people dislike that about this hobby, but I, I, I'm different in that in that regard. You'll hear some YouTubers talk about how CGC is bringing this hobby down, and again, they don't like where this hobby's going because of grading or because of this or because of that. I don't I don't uh, agree with that. I think CGC is and CBCS, and I'm not a fanboy of either. And you have your fanboys are saying, well, you know, if I really want something truly professionally graded, I'm going to go with CBCS. You know, both companies have their uh, positives and both companies have their flaws. And, you know, I, I look at it that way, too. Although I do tend to go with CGC, but um, I have CBCS and I'm not opposed to buying CBCS uh, books in the future. So, no, I don't think that that's something that I dislike. But it's lead. But all of this, this, this brief touch, touch up on what other people say. This leads me to something that I dislike, and I think that one of the biggest things that I dislike, maybe not the biggest, but one of the biggest things I dislike about this hobby, um, are the elitists. And I've mentioned that in previous videos. You have these elitists that come around and they'll say stuff like I just said. This hobby's going down the tubes. Uh, this hobby is screwed because of grading. Uh, this hobby has a lot of non-collectors, people that are just trying to make a couple of bucks and all of that. You, you, there's so many variations to, to what I just said, and there's so many other different things. I, but I categorize them, in my view, I categorize people like that as the elitists, who, who they know what real artwork is like, or they know who the real artists are, or they know how to collect. and the ones that like to collect their runs and all that stuff and look down on other people because they don't do this and they don't do that. That's one of the things I really dislike about the hobby. What, what, well, an aspect, an element that's in this hobby. But it's not just comics. I think that's in all sorts of hobbies. It's in games. It's in all of the sorts of collectible uh, 
hobbies, people, I think, and this is probably very psychological, people like to fancy themselves as important for whatever reason. You know, many reasons why people want to consider themselves important. But when you're getting into a real psychological level, it's, you find, if you do any study in psychology, as I have, okay, um, you see that a lot of people who have, who speak like that, who have this elitist personality is because they're lacking in something else in their lives. And that's the truth. Is that is that the truth for every single person? No, of course not. There are always exceptions. But that's one of the things I dislike, you know. Just keep it to yourself. If you feel that a true collector is somebody that collects entire runs or collects a certain artist or a certain age, you know, Bronze Age, Silver Age, whatever, avoid certain things, then that's fine. That's for you. But I don't think you need to go hating on other people. Uh, and I say this because this is something that I had to learn. Uh, years ago when I came back into the hobby, I remember saying, oh, I would never get into variants, and I'm still not into variants. I still don't particularly care for variants. I have my own opinions on them, and I made a video about that about five years ago, or whatever it was, four or five years ago. And I stand by it. Although, I do admit that some of them are pretty cool, and I know some of them are very, very expensive today, especially that uh, Ultimate Fallout 4. Uh, what is that? What's that one that's really, really uh, ridiculously expensive? I forget the artist's name. Uh, but that's that's an example. You know, I can understand why people really like that stuff. But as I started to self-reflect and think about certain things, I said to myself, hmm, maybe I shouldn't be so uh, judgmental because I'm becoming something that I don't like. But that's one of the things that I really dislike about this hobby. Um, I think another thing, I always like to try to lead into the next thing I want to talk about. Like I said, I want to talk about a couple of things, a few things. I think another common thing that people collectors whomever might voice their dislike uh, what they really dislike about this hobby um, is the current prices you know and again you always get the people saying uh, and I mentioned this in previous videos oh this price it's ridiculously expensive this is uh, that much and then when they see the book go down they're convinced that comic books now are going to be going in a downward uh, trend and all that stuff you know, that, 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 that really just drives me crazy to uh, people that just talk about those sort of things. And that's why I typically try to avoid uh, watching videos that discuss that. But I think that's one of the main things, uh, I think, today that a lot of people are complaining about when it comes to the prices. And, you know, I, and I can understand that. There's a part of that that I dislike, that some of the prices are just so crazy high. But I'll tell you something, though. You know, there were several books that I was unable to get up until this point. This, uh, before the, the price, before the prices really started to explode within the last two years. Like uh, Tales of Suspense 39 and Journey into Mystery 83 and Amazing Spider-Man 1, to name a few. But I'm not bitter over it. You know, I think I was able to collect quite a few great books. You know, look, I look at it this way. When I came back to the hobby um, in 2013, this was before I started making videos in 2014, but I would watch these videos and I would see these haul videos. Some of the first people I would watch were Hero Hunter and Spidey Fan 72C and um, um, Omega Shin Ryu Ken. Those were some of the first people that I watched that were pumping out hauls and all that stuff. But I remember. Uh, when I first came back and I started seeing some others show their books, and I was like, oh, wow, I have some pretty good books. I have an Incredible Hulk 181. I have the first Deadpool. I have the first this. I have the first that. I was like, oh, I can't wait to, you know, I'd like to show some of these off, some of my collection. And then as I started watching guys like that I just mentioned, like Omega Shin Ryu Ken and uh, Hero Hunter and all those others, started seeing their collections and I was like, oh, <laughs> maybe my collection is not so good. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's nothing to be jealous of. But the point I guess I'm trying to make is I don't have any regrets. I think over the years I was able to get quite a few good things and I'm still hunting some good things. So I think it's a lot of fun. 
I think it's still a lot of fun. So I can't say I completely dislike that because I'm still paying some of those prices when it comes to prices. But I can see where that could be a major problem for a lot of people. And young collectors that are just getting into this hobby now, I don't know how you do it because it's very expensive. For those of you that want to get, let's say, a modern book like the first Miles Morales, that's a lot of money. You know, it's not what it was five years ago, 20 or 30 bucks where you spend that and you could have a good modern character for that new collector that's not ready to invest in Peter Parker or anything like that. Well now, even getting Miles Morales is a, a lot. It's, it's, really, it's really changed and I could see where that is something that a lot of people would dislike. But I'm not, I'm not uh, really that, that big in dislike when it comes to that sort of uh, uh, area of our hobby, the pricing. Um, one other thing that I don't like, there are a couple of things I don't like, but the one other thing that I really dislike about this hobby when it comes to the sellers is that sellers who simply cannot grade. I cannot tell you, you know, yes, I said I don't like elitists and I could sort of sympathize with people that don't like the prices, although I'm not necessarily completely in the dislike camp when it comes to pricing. Maybe it's because I was able to get some big books and it doesn't really concern me as much. That could very well be it too. But like I said, there are still books that I'd like to get that I currently can't get. But even, bef even before those two, what I really don't like about this hobby are sellers that have been in this hobby for a while and still don't know how to grade. I can sit here and tell you that I really dislike sellers that sell on eBay that maybe are not one of the big big sellers that we all know of and they're saying this is a 9.6 or a near mint or an 8.0 and when you get it it's nothing like that it's nothing like that yes grading is, is subjective but I think there is you should have some level of competence when it comes to grading whether you're a seller or or a collector you should be able to grade somewhat you may not be the best grader but you should constantly challenge yourself and constantly improve. And if you've been a seller for a long period of time and you have not improved your grading, that really gets on my nerves. And it really bothers me when I buy something from one of these sellers and they say it's this, this, this grade. And then when you look at it and you're like, there's no way in hell that, that, this, that this is this grade. I mean, you're, you're giving yourself, you're giving this comic an extra point and a half. That's how off you are. And a point and a half may not sound like a whole lot, but it is a whole lot. And for those of us that, you know, have been collecting for a long period of time, for those of us that have encountered the same problem that I'm talking about, you know it's a big deal. That's something that I really dislike about this hobby or, or those that are in this hobby. And I really wish that some people would just at least learn how to grade better or be honest with themselves when it comes to the grade you have in this book that you're selling. If you think that this is a 3.0, it looks like a 3.0 and you're putting like a 4.5 or something like that, you have to learn to be honest because this is something that turns off uh, buyers like me. And I am a pain in the ass. You know, if I, if I see something that is irking me, that was not included, in a description or a listing or wherever I buy that's um, wherever I buy whether it's online or in person there are times I've, I've gone in person and uh, some sellers they would come up and they say oh yeah this is here this is a really good price for a nice 5.0 and I'm looking at it and I'm saying to myself a it's not a good price so I don't I don't know you must think I'm stupid uh, thinking that if I say it's a good price I'll believe it's a good price it's not and two you can't grade you have no business uh, telling me uh, what this what you what this grade is because you still you know have no idea what how to grade you suck and i, I encountered that a lot fortunately fortunately and here's the grading part where people talk about cgc at least you get a grade with them and even that's subjective right most of the time but uh, like i was saying i've surrounded myself i've learned to surround myself uh, with people that sell comics uh, some uh, some really good people that do know how to grade, or at least grade with the way I grade within the range. Uh, su some such people include my local comic book shop guy Mike, and Mike from YouTube. No, I know a lot of Mikes. Um, 
whether he's selling a CGC slab or not, he has a good general idea how to grade. And these are the people that I go to and, and others when it comes to grading because uh, I, I trust them. Because going to some sellers out there that more, more or less are still pretty good sellers, they're pretty cool, but really have no idea how to grade, it really irks me. So I would tell anybody who doesn't know already, because I would assume that most of you know this already, see if you could find sellers that you really trust. Because it could make one really dislike this hobby very quickly. So I talked about a few things. Like I said, there's so many other things to talk about when it comes to what you dislike in this hobby. Um, but let me let me know in the comments, what are some things that you dislike about this hobby? Are there any things that I mentioned in this video that you agree with uh, when it comes to disliking the hobby or anything you want to add to um, when it comes to disliking this hobby based on some of the things I mentioned? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all again next week. I should have a comic book haul video coming out next week. I believe it's number uh, 48. It's a real uh, mixed bag of books. So I hope you'll turn in and watch. Take care and be safe, everyone.